Hello and welcome back to the Yoga Reports. This is Lila Maya and I'm at home in Ibiza and uh, I thought it would be really nice for me to do this video from home because I've been traveling a lot and doing a lot of things here and there and what we need right now is really to anchor our truth and to really go within and um, reinvent ourselves just as Sky Pasha if you have not checked out any of his reports Sky Pasha is uh, an utter being that brings light through his astrology and it's really cool and he's saying that uh, it is a time of reinventing ourselves or living our truth it is definitely chaos so if there's chaos in your life um, this is normal for this time in which we're experiencing a lot of cosmic changes and um, shifts and uh, that which is happening outside is also a reflection of what's happening inside and this is in all levels so I would like to also take this opportunity to share with you that I will ma be making these reports a little bit shorter only once a week and be focusing a little bit more on yoga and um, give you the goods for that. So we're going to start with Sunday, 11th of December, and the moon is in Taurus and is waxing second quarter. So it's a great day for initiation on training of and cycles of any type of whether activity or study or professional. And um, this is time to do this. Take care of your throat. Uh, neck and ears if you live in cold um, temperatures uh, or if it's winter in, the, in, in your part of the world and develop your own inner pharmacy and self-healing forces so this brings a little bit Ayurveda into um, ignition igniting that which is inside of you that makes you heal. So our own inner booty and our own inner master and we're able to heal ourselves. So tapping into that a little bit more, so it's a good time for, to do that when the moon is in Taurus. And eat root veggies. And for yoga, we recommend anything to do with the throat. So any throat opening, uh, Vishuddha chakra opening, um, singing, chanting, and um, uh, anything that requires you concentration um, at opening this area. For Monday the 12th, the moon is still in Taurus and is the wax second quarter. And it's a great day for contacts and exchanges and starting a new business and follow the same guidelines for the day before and um, for yoga as well. This is for Monday. Tuesday we have full moon in Gemini and uh, the actual full moon will be at one in the morning uh, for the, those of us living on this part of the world, um, Europe, um, the Americas and uh, one in the morning on the actually Wednesday morning so this full moon on Gemini is asking, asking us to strengthen, strengthen our self-discipline and to our willpower and um, anything to do with, um, I'm going to change my location here so you can see a little bit of the background of where I live in Ibiza. It's very beautiful. That's the, ooh, a bit dark. That's the, the sun going down. It's a little bit late in the day, but uh, it's a beautiful time. It's high prana. So strengthening self-discipline and strengthening the respiratory tract. So we're talking about uh, pranayama exercises and anything to enhance your um, uh, capacity and the health of your lungs. So even infusions of eucalyptus going into a hammam and inhaling, infusing um, uh, oils into um, some sort of um, inhalations. Eat uh, flower veggies. Fasting is a good uh, opportunity at uh, at full moon, which is a time for cleansing and releasing and opening. And so the yoga practice should um, replicate that. So should reflect that it's a releasing time. 
So we recommend cobra, plow, shoulder stands, any heart opening chakras, um, any heart opening asanas. And for Wednesday the 14th, uh, the moon is still in Gemini and now is waning third quarter. Behave quietly and peacefully. Be mindful and aware. Also consider the respiratory tract as your focus and lymphatic massage is recommended. Oil pooling, things like this for pranayama, more uh, for yoga, more pranayama and more throat chakra asanas, singing and chanting. For Thursday the 15th, the moon is in Cancer and uh, waning still third quarter and what we recommend is to practice diplomacy and humbleness and this is, uh, um, we're talking about all areas in your life, how you speak, how you think, how you navigate and dance throughout the day and ex exercise um, uh, equilibrium in all levels, in your yoga practice, equilibrium and equanimity with your work, with your friends, with your partner. And continuing on, it's a good day to clean. Is it gonna bite? I'm gonna put you there. It's a good day to clean yourself and tidy up at home and and your inner work and your inner inner soul house and your outer soul house. For yoga, balancing postures, so such as eagle, extended hand to big toe, half moon, revolved, uh, handstands, natarajasana, dancer's pose, side plank, all of these are recommended for Thursday. Friday the 16th, the, 16th, the moon is still in Cancer, winning third quarter. Good opportunity to practice Pratyahara, which is the fifth limb on the Ashtanga path set out by Patanjali. So this is the withdrawal of the senses. So it's a time to control over our external influences. So observe how maybe your senses could be influencing what you eat, how you think, and uh, practice withdrawing before being subjected or acting on something. Eat leafy greens, be creative and decisive, and uh, it's a good day for female energy, and a uh, favorable day for love, and for festivities, anything that brings on love. So love yourself today a little bit more, that would be Friday, so next Friday, do something for yourself, bring yourself to your favorite restaurant, and or take your favorite class, or paint your face or something, I don't know, something fun. For yoga, a heart opening practice, uh, cat cows, melting heart, sphinx, cobra, camel bridge, it's recommended for um, opening the heart. For Saturday the 17th, the moon is in Leo, and it's still waning third quarter, and whatever happens on the outside is reflected on the inside so like I was saying a little bit at the beginning of this um, of this uh, report so it's a very interesting time in general to observe uh, what what is behind your thoughts what is behind your actions and your choosings and even the people you surround yourself with so this is a time to Stop thinking that you can do everything yourself and rather gravitate towards like-minded people that are on the same plane as you. Be extra mindful and cautious. And uh, for yoga for that day, take care of your spine and um, your heart. So fish, cat, Surya Namaskar is recommended for Saturday and for Sunday the 18th moon is in Virgo. It's a day to practice being more conscious. So continuing on with this alignment of consciousness with awareness of yourself and your and your doings and, and um, even how you eat actually. Um, on Sunday is recommended to cleanse yourself with fire and with smoke which is a, an ancient tradition according to the Vedas. 
which is where Ayurveda and yoga both come from, from Vedic times, and um, fire is very important in this tradition. Get rid of useless things, so it's a good time to tidy up at home and check out what you no longer need, both inside and out. Eat root veggies, and for yoga, practice a headstand, deep forward bend, so Paschimottanasana is held a little bit longer, and anything that brings you more into this realm of away from the head into the heart. So from Ibiza, from uh, high prana sundown time, this beautiful Saturday, um, I wish you all a beautiful evening and a beautiful day tomorrow. And hasta pronto. Namaste.